Hi, hi. Hi, hi. <laughs> All right. So let me check. Are we live? I think we're live. I think we are live. Sweet. All right, sweet. Okay. Little disclaimer in my video. I do not include footage or show manga scans. So for those coming to just see the episode or see the chapter on YouTube, I don't do that shit. I don't play by that. <laughs> All right, so there's my little disclaimer. What's going on, guys? It's Professor Anime, and we are going to be live reacting to Tokyo Ghoul Re Chapter 87. Last week's chapter, dude. Oh, man. We found out that Kaneki, or well, technically Kaneki has taken the throne so to speak, in regards to Arima being the true one-eyed king. So, yo, I'm very excited to see what's going to go down in this chapter of Tokyo Ghoul Re. And the chapter uh, apparently is titled The Hated Child. I don't really like how that's, <laughs> that, that's titled because it, it makes me feel like we're going to get more tragedy involving this chapter of Tokyo Ghoul Re, but I guess we're going to find out. So I'm going to start this live reaction to Tokyo Ghoul Re chapter 87 now. All right, so there's 17 pages on here. All right, so we get a pretty short chapter. The chapter was actually delayed uh, yesterday, apparently, too. Why? Shiro. Huh. Hate, 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 hate. Why? Why? Shiro. Um, yeah, Shiro, wait for me. Okay. What am I missing? <laughs> Kano, why? Kill. Suzia. Kuro, thank you. I love you. Kano, Kano. Yo, th this is gonna mess with Ray. <laughs> Suzia, kill me too. Horrible. From now, we're, tr we're together. Suzia, we killed Su... Yo, what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> Dude. We killed... No! no! What? What? No. What? No. What? Did they just really just kill Susie? Hold on. Let me look at the chat really quick. They didn't... No, no right, nobody's saying anything right now. But, I mean, they, they did not just kill Susie. No. Hold on, let, let's go to the next page. What? Yo, Susie, I mean, I hated the kid in the beginning, but once we learned more about him, I grew to like him and everything. But, like, what the fuck? So then why? Shall we approach diagonally? No, straight on. How can you lot be so? Yo, dude. Shiro going, ooh. You're having trouble keeping up. Damn. How can he be so calm? Fuh. Dude, she looks fucking sick. Like, the freaking, like, it looks, oh, my God. The, 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 whatever she has on her, like, her ghoul parts of her from her sister or whatever. Yo, it, it looks ridiculous. It's on her face and shit. Like, dude, that looks disgusting. All right. Their squad leader was just killed. To you lot, he should have been unimport unimportant. I see. How simple. I just hadn't thought of it as all. We just wanted, or he just wasn't that important. Now it all makes sense. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. There's nothing to dwell on here. There's no way his squad members would love him. Even if he's dead, you all are still... Oh, shit. No, oh, no. Now he's la Now this. Oh, dude, are they laughing hysterically? They're laughing at her. What the fuck? What the hell is so funny? All of it. It's all funny. <laughs> Listen up. We all chose Susia Senpai with a burning desire. Fool, rather. Let me ask you. Just who do you think has died? Whoa, what the fuck is that? Just who do you think has died? Is that like Susia? Or was he like faking his own death or something? Dude, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that, dude? 
Just who do you think? Oh, get oh, damn! <laughs> Cut right through her. Damn. Shit. Cutting right through her. All right, let's go to the next page if this will load up. Okay, there we go. Or what does that say? Re? <laughs> Damn. Dude, her whole torso was just cut in half. Corona. Who, who was that? Susia or what? Dude. <laughs> Bucky just ripped it. Oh, oh. Kinke, Arata, Joker, Kokaku. Officially, uh, efficiently ambush. Completed successful. Try not to hate me too much, okay? It, that's not. Who the fuck is that? Who is that? Who? Kinke, Arata, Joker. Kok, it's a Kokaku, okay. But hold on, the the hair. Oh wait, no, that is, is that real? No, because I see the strands, right? That is Juzo. What the fuck? Shut up. Yeah. Uh, he going in. He. Ooh. Damn, he's fucking taking off her arms and shit. Pain from the left to the right. It lances through me. Suzia is above. <laughs> oh, above. Susie is above. Okay. Now, let's finish this. So, Susie uh, got... Uh, I mean, Susie was technically a regular human being, right? Oh, you know what? There's only two more, two more pages to go. Let's just finish this up. Oh, so you dodged it. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Damn. Oh, she escaping. Are you okay with... Yes. There isn't much more we can do. We did stop her, after all. Once you run away from the same foe two times, you will never beat him. Susie's squad here will be leaving one wounded behind and transferring location now. Four members of Susie's squad, not including Abara, are heading to Rendezvous with Hoji squad, currently engaged with Tatara. Gah! Taki Sawa. Dude, no fucking pineapple head is back, dude. <laughs> what do you want, dude? Tears and blood again. Dude, that's a fucking sick ass picture right there of freaking Taki Sawa, dude. Jesus Christ. Yo, I'm hyped. <laughs> Good chapter of Tokyo. And all right, so so what I was going to say was that um, Suzia is apparently, yeah, I mean, he was human, or, I mean, technically, he is human, I guess you could say, um, but I guess due to the whole CCG, you know, using ghoul DNA, they, like, the CCG had to use ghoul DNA in order to become part ghouls themselves, so I guess that's what was being shown here with Suzia, you know, turning into a ghoul, like, at least whatever that was, but, like, that was a sick form, I, I really like his Kokaku, like, it's fucking sick. And then we get Takizawa at the end. Yo, yo, it's going. I mean, every every time I react to a Tokyo Ghoul chapter, I'm like, it's going to get more hype. It's going to get more badass. It's going to get more tragic. And then you're like, oh, man. It, it, it's <laughs> Next week is going to be fucking awesome. What's going on, Osama? Yo, two world. Uh, I expected them to explain the whole Shiro thing this chapter, but it was still a good chapter. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Uh, what's popping? What's popping, my hug? What's going on? But, yeah, like, I, I just want to know, like, what exactly is going to go down in the next chapter? Because is Takizawa going to meet up with Kaneki? Like, what's going on with that? And what the hell is going on with Amon? <laughs> like, I want Amon... In Tokyo Ghoul, Re. I mean, we saw like a glimpse of him, right? Supposedly. But we never actually have seen him. I, I want Amon, man. <laughs> I want my Amon. Amon was like my favorite character in part one of Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, the part one, <laughs> excuse me. But in Re, it's just like he disappeared. He just disappeared. Like, man. 
Uh, I, I I think Ishida is like holding, you know, him just uh, he's holding on to the big reveal of Amon relatively soon. But oh man, next chapter I hope Amon appears. Yeah, see, same thing. We've seen him with a ghoul eye, right? Yeah, I, I think we like saw Amon like and like I don't know, probably in like the beginning chapters of Tokyo, like maybe. Maybe Tokyo Ghoul Re Chapter Thirty. I want to say in the thirty plus ranges. Um, maybe not that far back, but he was like he had the cape on and everything. He was holding, you know, his you know weapon, his uh, kinkade that he used to use in the CCG, and I he was on top of like a building, like looking out, and everybody suspected that he was a mod, which it probably was, but. I mean, we don't know that for sure. We just haven't seen him in general. So, I don't know. I really... Arima was supposed to not appear for a while. Sorry, Amon. Yeah, yeah no, it's fine. Yeah, I, I'm just like, I, I want Amon. I want Amon. Like, I'm loving everything that Ishida is doing, but it he's definitely holding out on us to actually show Amon for, like, a big reveal. Like, he's holding him back for a big reveal that he's going to do. I don't know what that reveal is, but I don't know. He's definitely going to have to meet Kaneki later down the line. So, yeah. With that said, I think I'm going to close it. I'm going to close uh, this chapter of Tokyo Ghoul Re, my live reaction. Uh, good chapter. Very good chapter. We get to see this uh, Suzia fight against Shiro and Kuro, uh, technically because they are two people. <laughs> but, um... How Susie ended up faking his death, and then all of a sudden, like, I guess, like, it was, like, an illusion for Kuro, but regardless, he faked his death, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you know, his, you know, ghoul side, with the DNA that he got from the CCG, uh, CCG he just comes out of nowhere and freaking slices the living shit out of Shiro. Shiro did escape, so she's not dead, but... She escaped yet again. So, and then there's something going on with Takizawa. So, uh, I'm very excited to see what's going to happen. I'm pos we're possibly going to see Takizawa and Kaneki in the next chapter, and they're probably going to fight. Okay, because we're still at the chateau, if I believe right. So, where everything is being, you know, held down, where everybody's fighting at. So, it's going to be exciting to see what's going to go on. Um, I hope Amon, even though this is kind of generic, saves Mado from Takizawa next chapter. Mado. Didn't Mado die? I hope Amado saves Ma I hope Amon saves Mado from Takizawa next chapter. Am I thinking of the right person? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up Mado because wasn't he the guy with the white hair? Hold on, let me check really quick. I be like, hold on. Koreo Mado. Or is that or is that uh, Mado's daughter? Yeah, Kurio. Okay, so yeah, Kurio Mado. That that's that's the guy with the white hair. He died. He died. But um, I think you're talking about his daughter. I think that's who you're talking about. Akita. Yeah, Akita. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know what? That's a, that's a possibility. That's a possibility. Uh, I hope Amon saves Akita from Takizawa next chapter. That's yeah. That's most likely what's going to happen. So I'm very excited to see what exactly is going on with Takizawa. Um, definitely, it seems like Ken Kaneki is going to meet up with um, uh, Takizawa in the next chapter, and then they're going to fight and whatnot. And maybe since Takizawa is there, he, hear me out. This is a theory, but maybe since Takizawa is there, that is when we're actually going to see Amon. Because if you remember correctly, Amon and Takizawa were actually very close in the CCG in part one of Tokyo Ghoul. So if Takizawa is making another appearance at the Chateau, which is which we are probably getting near the conclusion of Tokyo Ghoul Re, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we do see Amon in the next few chapters of Tokyo Ghoul Re. I'm just throwing that out there. But anyways, guys, I am going to end it off here. Uh, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned as I review Tales of Sesteria, Orange, and also react to ReZero today. Got three more videos for you all, so hopefully you all are there for that. And uh, yeah, I just really hope you enjoy my videos, and I will catch you all 
in the next video. I will catch you all later. Peace.